For this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the speaking presentations. I know this is a big project, and it may seem a little confusing and scary, but I promise you, it's really very, very easy to do. Now first, you might be asking yourself, how am I going to make a video? What kind of program am I going to have to use? How complicated is this going to be? What are my options for making a video? There are, I think, basically three ways that you could make this video. Uh, the first thing is that you could make a screencast. This is the way that I recommend. I think it will be easiest to make a screencast, but depending on your topic, a screencast may not make the most sense. So it may be better for you to use one of the other options. If you don't know what a screencast is, I'm making one right now. The video that you're watching is a screencast. You hear my voice, but you don't see my face. Instead, you see the computer screen. I am making a video of the computer screen. This is probably the easiest way for you to make your speaking presentation. You could do what I'm doing right now, make a PowerPoint, and then you can record yourself talking about the PowerPoint. Very, very simple to do. You can also, screencasts are great for showing people how to use a website. So for instance, if you chose the topic of teaching students how to get their driver's license in the United States, you might want to show them the website for the DMV. So you could go to that website. Watch, I'll do it right now. I go over here. I go to Virginia DMV. And then I can show you, here's the website. Here's how you use it. Here's where you click, etc. It's very, very simple for you, right? Very simple for you to use. That's an example of a screencast. This will probably be the best option for most of you. Now, you might also want to make a video of yourself where you are actually on the video. That just depends on what your topic is or if that's what you prefer. I know most students are really nervous about seeing themselves on a video, so they may not like that. But you and your group members may decide that the easiest thing to do is to take a video camera or your cell phone and actually video yourselves on screen. Instead of showing the computer screen, you can show yourselves. You might also consider doing video interviews. Uh, for instance, if you were doing a topic about, I don't know, food in the United States, maybe uh, best restaurants to eat in Norfolk, um, you might want to ask some of the teachers where are the best restaurants to go to. So you could have a video of you talking to one of the teachers in the program about the best restaurants in Norfolk, and you could make that part of your video. So that's a possibility. If you choose to do video interviews, that's great. But that can't be your whole video, okay? This is a little more complicated. You can't, for instance, have a 10-minute interview with one teacher, where the teacher does most of the talking, and you just sit there and listen. The point of this assignment is that you have to talk. It's a speaking presentation, so you have to speak. So if the whole video is basically you talking to Greg, and Greg's doing all of the talking, well then you're not really doing a speaking presentation, are you? So a video interview is fine as part of your presentation, but it can't be the entire presentation. Which is why I also wrote down here combination. You might want to do a screencast and a video interview. I can show you how to put two different kinds of videos together into one big video. I can help you with that. Now, what programs are you going to use? I have programs on my computer that you can use. So you can use my laptop. You may have programs on your computer that you want to use. That's fine. Here's a few things I want to clear up. On my computer, I use the program Snagit. It's a screencast software. There are many, many different companies that make screencast software, so maybe you already have a screencast software installed on your computer. That's fine if you want to use that instead. You might need a movie maker as well. I use iMovie. I have a Mac, and iMovie is a really good program because, for instance, if I had an interview with Greg, and then I made a screencast, and I wanted to combine those two videos together into one, I would use iMovie. It lets me edit and play around like I'm really making a movie. It's pretty cool. Another thing about um, iMovie that's really cool, I'll show you here, let me pull it up, is that iMovie you can actually record from the computer. So if you wanted to, for instance, um, like in iMovie you press the camera over here 
and it actually pulls up the camera. You can see me. There I am. Hi. And um, I can actually just start talking, and then it's recording everything I'm saying and recording my face. So this could be a way to do video interviews. This could be a way to do your own presentation if you wanted to. And then when you were done, you would go over here and press done or whatever. Now, here's the most important part. Whatever you choose to do, whether you use screencast software, whether you use a video camera, whether you use iMovie, or some combination of all of those, you have to be able to post the video on YouTube. I will post all of these videos on my YouTube channel. Now, if you use my programs, if you use Snagit, if you use iMovie, if you use a video camera from your cell phone or something like that, you should have no problems uploading everything to YouTube. It's very, very easy. But if you have your own software and you want to use your own computer and your own programs, that's fine, but you must be able to upload everything to YouTube. So if you use a screencast software that doesn't connect to YouTube, that's no good. That doesn't work. I need something that I can upload to YouTube. If you look here in Snagit, if I click on it, and I have these options up here, one of them is Share. And I have all of these options, and one of the options is YouTube. If I press YouTube, it immediately starts uploading my video to YouTube, which is really, really convenient. You've got to have that option on your own software. I don't care if you use your own software, but you have got to make sure that you can send the video to YouTube. Or you can send it to me, and I can send it to YouTube. And I think, other than that, that should cover all of your questions. It really, really is very simple. If you would like to use my computer and any of my programs, then you and your group members just need to make an appointment with me, and you can come to my office. I will bring my laptop, and you can sit down in my office, or we'll find another space for you, and you can make your video there. It's very, very simple. If you choose to use your own programs, that's fine. But keep in mind, again, you've got to be able to upload it to YouTube. And finally, if you have any problems with your programs, I can't help you. So if you don't use Snagit and you use another screencast software and you're confused and you're lost and you don't know how it works, I can't help you. I can only help you if you use my programs. So I don't care if you want to use your own programs, but you are taking a risk, so keep that in mind.